So everything I've done in life has not been planned or programmed. I've been what I call a victim of serendipity. Good things happen to me in spite of myself. Uh, never thought I'd come, to, never thought about coming to Alaska either. Jay Hammond was born in upstate New York in 1922. As a young man, he studied petroleum engineering, but migraines and a football injury drove him out of college. He took up flying as a civilian, but was compelled to enlist after the United States was drawn into World War II. He became an Alaska bush pilot after the war and stumbled into the newly established state's politics. He was a key player in deciding how the state would manage its newfound oil wealth and eventually became one of Alaska's most colorful governors. Well, I was born in Troy, New York, uh, but mercifully left at age five. Troy back then was kind of a grubby garment town, although we didn't live directly in Troy. My dad was a Methodist preacher, and he got moved to upstate New York uh, in a little town called Scotia, which is not far from Troy, but uh, which is near uh, Scotia, near Schenectady. And uh, I grew up there, spent my school years there uh, until high school when my dad was transferred to Aw Sable Forks in the Adirondacks up near Lake Placid. And uh, I was there part of the time, but sp spent my high school years really with a family back in Scotia to finish up during which period my dad moved and mother moved to Vermont. And I much prefer people think I came from Vermont than Troy, New York somehow. Although Troy has cleaned up its act, it's much, uh, much less undesirable than it was back then. You know? And uh, I went back after many, many years of absence and I almost didn't want to return. I thought it would be all plastic paved over and populated. Same ruts in a road. It looked just the same to me as it did when I, and it was quite kind of great in a way because it uh, nice to know there's some things not changing that dramatically up here. Can't say that about Alaska. <laughs> Prior to getting the Marine Corps, I uh, uh, went to Penn State in 1940 to. Uh, uh, ostensibly become a petroleum engineer. Uh, a good friend of mine, the fellow that I had stayed with my last year of high school, he, his dad was an old Penn State graduate. He was going to Penn State and he was uh, uh, aspiring to become a petroleum engineer. And uh, I, we had romantic visions of uh, exploring all sorts of remote, exotic places and so forth. But I was not cut out to be an engineer. I had no interest in the engineering curricula to speak of. I should have been doing something worthwhile like learning waterfall identification or something I could use in later life. But anyhow, and I was miserable at it. But uh, I was having some problems. I also had uh, that. I had headaches virtually every day for a period of time, and uh, my dad took me to, oh my goodness, uh, we went to the Harvard Migraine Clinic. I saw 14 different specialists see what was wrong. Nobody could figure it out. 